database recovery log file contains a record history of all database operations. The log is stored on a different storage device than the database, so it is accessible in the case of storage media failure. After a failure, the database recovery system can use the log to restore the database. The log contains update records. It logs that a transaction data has changed or updated. It also tracks compensation records or undo records, which logs that data has rolled back. And it also logs transaction records, which logs a start, commit, and rollback of a transaction. And it also logs checkpoint records, which logs when all data is saved from main memory to storage media. And there's also a few database failure types. Database recovery supports atomic transactions by making sure that partial transactions are not saved and also supports durable transactions by making sure that completed and committed transactions are not lost if the hardware or database fail. The three failure types are listed here. There's transaction failure, which the data rolls back to the original value if there are logical errors, deadlocks, hardware failures, or even if the database just runs out of disk space. And if there's a transaction failure, the database concurrency system tells the recovery system to roll back the transaction. The recovery system does a rollback by reading the recovery log file, starting from the end of the file as it contains the latest records. Then there's system failures where data blocks are stored on media storage and periodically stored on hard disk or other storage media, which are safe in the case of a system failure. And if the system's main memory is lost before a block gets written to storage, the recovery system can recover the committed transactions and also roll back uncommitted transactions from storage. Recovery from a system failure has two phases. There's the redo phase, which restores transactions that were committed or rolled back since the last checkpoint, or the undo phase, which reads the recovery log in reverse and figures out how to undo any issues and recover the database. And finally, there's storage media failures that could happen. And this is when your database connection is lost or your database just gets corrupted. And most database systems automatically make a backup of your data so that you can recover the data later if you need to. However, if you have this issue, then you won't be able to connect to your database. The recovery system restores any committed transactions and rolls back the uncommitted transactions. But if your system was down for a long time, most databases provide some kind of media failure recovery. And there's two ways to recover from storage media failures. There's the cold backup, which creates checkpoints and database backups at periodic times, such as when there's low database activity, it's like 2 a.m. in the morning when most people are not using the computer. And then there's a hot backup, which keeps a secondary database that's in sync with the primary one. And if the primary one fails, then the secondary one gets switched over to become the new primary.